Setting up the LRD6300 for a metallic label is a little different than setting it up for a clear or a paper label. The labels we're using here are not actually metallic, they're covered in a high carbon black ink, which is a conductive material and essentially is the same as having a metallic label. The standard setup procedure for a 6300 is to remove a label and set the sensor over the gap area and hold down the G button and set that gap. But with metal labels, as we begin to move this, you see it's not even seeing the gaps. So what we have to do instead is stop the web so that it is centered on a gap. And there's a little groove on the top of the sensor to help you align that. And then we set it at an actual gap instead of on a missing label spot. And then it begins to work. But you see sometimes it's missing them because it still isn't going down far enough. So you have to check that. So all I have to do is push this button a few times and begin to move the light bar down. And now it's seeing even those labels. So you set it on a gap. Then you have to run a few and watch and see if the light's going all the way down. If it's not, then you may have to press the down button a few times to make sure that it always goes down during the gap. The critically important part is that the web be tight against the back plate. The sensor can be sensitive to web flutter when the web moves in and out. This is a little sensitive to it with regular labels, but it's critical with metal labels. If there's any web flutter going on, that will cause inconsistencies in the sensor. But for the most part, it, it will work with most metal labels using that setup procedure and a nice taut web against the big pipe.